don't let grief, you know, eat you alive, you know, remember that there are other people around you who are still around. And it's about, you know, it's about us now celebrate the people, celebrate the people who are gone and, 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 and engage with the people who are still around to be engaged with, you know. Hi, and you both. It's wonderful to chat with you. Uh, Ashes to Dust is is a great film. It's for for short. There's a lot that's packed in there. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's funny and hard to watch at the same time in moments. Um, Clark, where where did the film come from? Um, I wrote that. Uh, I, I lost a dear friend who was a who was a mother figure to me. Not my mother, but very close to being a mother um a few years ago and she i was with her when she died and i was in her house afterwards luckily there was a will so she was very responsible and we we knew what to do but it still didn't make the job easy and um but her ashes were in the living room when i wrote it and i kind of felt like she guided me along in that story a little bit um so it is it is kind of based on a true story um but a lot of the things that happened in the film did not happen in real life just to, um it, it was a, it was a much cleaner experience <laughs> um but it was just uh you don't have a sister i don't have a sister <laughs> but um it, it yeah it was just i felt like at my age uh that we're dealing at that we're at that point in our lives where we're starting to lose people and it's so hard to lose people and i wanted to kind of tell an authentic story about what it is to to lose someone and how it's not all just about mourning their loss it's about what do you do when they're gone and and i wanted to bring out some of the sadness and bring out some of the humor and not you know at, at the same time and um and it's it's a little farcical but um but i i think it captures i i, I think it captures a, a real human experience and that was my goal i like that you say that because that's one of the things i felt about it is is it felt sort of honest in some ways like it's not mostly not comedy for comedy's sake it feels sort of like awkward reality you know in the moments that aren't totally heightened or, or plausible in that sense um adam what was it like for you to step into this this film and what what drew you to it well when he first when he first drafted it i was initially just really excited about it i thought it was, was something we should make and it was really going to be an experiment for us i you know i I have an older, I have an older brother and I've, you know, I've certainly seen my share of, you know, sibling tensions. And um, I mean, it, I mean, yeah, it, similar to what you said, it's just like, it was a very, I don't know, it was a slice of lifey kind of thing that really, I could really sink my teeth into. And so as we workshopped it, I think he did kind of uh, start to write the part for me. He really he, pushed it. I wrote it very quickly. It was kind yeah. of just a, fun little ditty on the side that gonna i never be a little make yeah and it was just but, gonna be an experiment if we did do it and, and but then he read it and he's like we should make this we should and make i'm like this. and i never thought right when i wrote the script i never i didn't think i was sitting down to write a script yeah that would be the first thing i would direct yeah because i've written a lot and i and i've got and there's a lot of things i've considered directing in the past and i didn't think it would be this little short film but i'm really happy that it is it's well and i had a really good and i had a good chemistry with the other actor we were friends and we kind of i feel like we 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 created that sibling dynamic pretty 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 decently and um yeah i had a great time working with her and i i also just i yeah i just i really related to it on a, on a lot of levels and i and i think um uh in in some ways i feel like i relate more to her character i'm a little bit more of a pragmatic person so it was kind of fun to jump into not only producing but but as the actor here like really jumping into that kind of weird the the goofier like looser guy who's trying to figure out what to do with his life but it's, it's kind of fun for me to see to kind of play the other side you know i i love the dynamic between the two of you on screen and the the because you know i i have a sibling and siblings can be a challenge sometimes they just can be and and in a situation like this where you think we should be able to figure this out sometimes it's difficult to do so i guess i would ask you you both you know why do you think it's so easy to come apart at a time when we're supposed to be able to come together it's mm, a very good question. Um, it's human nature, and nobody like we just 
people have different personalities and that's exactly what the script was trying to capture is that at a time when we i mean that's what i was trying to point out is that i think it's when we're most likely to come apart is when we should be coming together and that's what sucks about about death is like usually you and that's the you know about you know it's at this moment the moment when you most need your mom to tell you what the hell to do she's gone and 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 that's a little bit what kind of where i came up with the idea for the ouija board a little bit even though i don't really believe in that stuff i i love this idea of one being a believer and one not and them still like just so desperate to for some kind of guidance from their mom that you know, maybe the ouija board could provide something because some answers you know and and um but yeah in these moments it's like you're an orphan for the first time um and and you've got to really be grown up for the first time and you've been assigned these roles and then you throw in the fact that the mom left no will um which so there's no instructions no guidance whatsoever it's just a it's just a recipe for you know disaster and in the absence of mom like i think to answer your question i think it's like part of it is is you have when you're trying to come together you still have all this expectation of each other you know like especially with siblings like she's like now it's our time to come together and we're going to do it and we're going to do it in this way and he's like yeah now it's our time to come together and we're going to do it in this way it's like of course you need to be like trying to get on the same page, but, but it's, it is the time when you're going to be pulled apart because you don't know, you don't know what's best, you know, no one can convince the other of what the right move is, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, and, you know, it's interesting. There's a line in the film um, where I'm not sure if it's, if it's you, Adam, or, or your the, the person playing your sister, uh, this says she's gone. It's about us now. That's mm -hmm. my sister. Yeah, die. Oh yeah, Elizabeth. I think it's a profound, a profound uh, line in so many ways because, you know, the whole project, the whole film, the whole sequence, if you will, you're trying to figure out and do honor them by doing what they want, mm -hmm. um, but trying to navigate that, and even even you disagree on what that would be. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not what she would want. That's not what because you're taking these different pieces of her with you uh in this story i was wondering um how do you think you come to those decisions in moments like that um because you know you know people differently you know you have you i don't know about you but I'm, i know adam has a different relationship with his mother than his brother does so yeah. like they know this person in a different way so when they're gone and you're trying to honor them you want to honor them in the way that you with this person that you know and they want to honor the same person <laughs> in the way that they know them, but they, as a mom or as a parent, they've raised you because they know you so well that they treat you differently or treat you how you need to be treated to be, you know, as, as good a parent as possible. And it's just, you just have different relationships. So it's different. You have different perceptions of people, I think, but that's our tagline. Like it's on the poster. It's about, it's about us now. That's the whole, it's the whole message that's of the mood of the that. film yeah. is that, that it's like, don't let grief you know eat you alive you know remember that there are other people around you who are still around and it's about you know it's about us now celebrate the people celebrate the people who are gone and 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 engage with the people who are still around to be engaged with you know um, it's a liberating thought yeah because you're right you're you're trying to respect the person who's dead and and that is something we all maybe naturally will do to some extent but it is it does quickly become like a real a realization and a journey to like going oh but now 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 we're going to be that person we're going to be the older person we got to figure it out now you know it's not we don't have to live our lives trying to echo this person we can respect that while also realizing that this is the new focus mm -hmm. yeah there's a real shift um a psychological shift i think in the you know as we grow and in these moments as well sort of like well this is I guess now I'm in this space. I'm in this role, and I wasn't before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one one of the things I wanted to ask you you both about this film too is because it's genuinely funny, um, and and yet it's taking. You know, we're sitting in the conversation surrounding death, really. Um, and I was wondering for you both, what's it like to find that balance? How do you find that balance, if you will, of not making a mockery, if you will, of of the situation, but still getting laughs. I mean, I think it's essential. I I think I think short films. I think 
have a tendency to lean towards the model and to the dark and 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 like a lot if you're doing the draw if you're not doing shark you know if you're not in the comedy block but if you're in the drama block it can be a lot of really important dramatic subjects but if you watch six seven in a row it can be really depressing Mm -hmm. um and so i i really set out when i wrote a short to to create a balance um of that to find the humor in it because there is humor in death i'm sorry there just is uh, like there's the people die in funny ways or people say funny things or you know your relationships with your family can be funny and you have to laugh about the past and laugh about people when they're gone um and not just again it's not being consumed by the sadness so i i wanted to make a short film that captured the sadness of loss and captured the difficulty of loss but also it celebrated and made you laugh a little bit like that was really i don't, I don't know that just seemed essential to me um well adam, it, adam captured great i mean i think the the scene the, the some of the funny scenes are done really well um and i i applaud him I, I don't want to reveal anything on what happens but it's it's a fun twist but it was a it was a really fun scene and i think i'd argue his character is the more sentimental and nostalgic mm -hmm. one but yet he's also the one who's like kind of ready to make things a joke first too mm -hmm. which i think is kind of an interesting dynamic you know like because he's trying to like he's almost like trying to he's trying to piece sort, sort of in his own way trying to pivot to making it like well now it's about us and like you're my sister and now we're gonna get along or we should you know because that's what mom wanted you know i think so i think so how he deals with his sister is yeah trying to make her laugh yeah um, yeah she doesn't laugh much <laughs> <laughs> she does not <laughs> uh, but you know without giving anything away uh by the end of it you know you have a little bit of your mom with you and yeah <laughs> Um, honestly, it, the film is such a joy. What do you hope people take away from ashes to dust? Um, I think it's about us now is the, the tagline really, I think is a strong tagline. I think it, that's I, as you, when you lose people, just don't forget to stay in the present, you know, and, um, and celebrate the people you love and on a more, uh, more, um, practical note, I hope that they know that it means that we've got more to come because we've got a feature we want to shoot. So that's, you know, we're this, this is really, this is, I would love to stretch out ashes to dust. I'd love to see it be a feature one day, but the next script that I really want to do um, that also Adam would be one of the stars in. And I, I plan to direct is a, is a, a feature script. And um, so this is kind of our calling card to try to um, move up, you know, to the next level um, with our little tiny production company and our, our group of filmmaking friends well that, i mean that's exciting i want to see what that is uh i'd love to see this as a feature because i think there's a lot you can explore with the two of them uh, no there's cer there certainly I, is there certainly is it just you know it wasn't what we set out to do but i think who knows I, I, i'd love to explore it i'd yeah. love to explore both the characters oh that's great well hopefully that gets to happen thank you both for your time i really appreciate it and hey, I, thank I, you thanks thank for you watching guys. absolutely have a great day yeah, yeah you, you too, too.